Welcome back to another terribly exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Grinding Edition, because I know that's everyone's favorite edition. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the path down Cycling Road, because I think Duford is sort of the best, uh, Duford Cave is probably the best place that we've got to train a uh, Phantasm. Okay. Actually, maybe one way of going about this could be saying no going back to areas you've already passed. Or at least no battling Pokemon in areas you've already passed. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I think that's something that some people try. Alright, I'm going to shoot for the record. Let's go. There's some sort of record. And it involves being really good at... Okay, nope, 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 nope. Fail. Nope. Pathetic. No! I'm even worse on this than I w I'm even worse on the emulator than I was in the original Game, Q game Boy. Well, how about that? Okay, where am I going? Through Slateport. Back to Duford. Alright, into the backs of chairs and people and the ocean. Let's go to Duford. So that I can train up Phantasm as Phantasm deserves uh, to be due, as per Aflin. Also, I probably ought to put Lily in PC storage, because I'm not actually going to need cut anytime soon. Oh, unless I will. Actually, I won't bother. If I lose all my Pokemon, then I'm in trouble with or without Lily. Wait, how am I still on my bike? I just rode on a ship. How am I still... What? No sense is made by this game. Okay, back to grinding. I know you're all delighted to hear this. After this, I'm probably going to go challenge the gym because I don't have a whole lot better to do. Alright, let's go wing attack. I've only got three Pokemon now at decent levels, which isn't great. Because again, of the taboo on grinding, because your Pokemon have to be of at least a decent level to make such a swing for the fences, but... Here's another Makuhita. Yay, Makuhitas. Except I have like 20 wing attacks to burn through and about as many water guns. At least a 1-8 KOs now. Alright. So I'm wandering. You know, maybe it would work to say you can't come back to areas you've beaten before. I mean, that'd mean you have to get all your grinding done in one stretch. If you want to grind on any wild Pokemon. It's an interesting variant to try, albeit it may not be for now. Okay, let's see how Water Gun does. Ha 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 No. Also, it's really annoying to grind in caves because you just have to run back and forth over and over again. I sort of wish I had caught... I had been able to catch an Aaron rather than fainting a Makuhita. I like the, I like Aaron. Aaron's a good po... Or Aaron. Aaron is a nice Pokemon. Yeah, anyways, your fondness for grinding can only grow as I continue to grind. No, really, nothing else is going to happen this episode. It's just grinding, entirely composed of grinding. And possibly stopping right before a certain point, but I don't know. I'll think about it. So anyways, do I have any stories? I don't think I have any stories. Um... My life's been fairly uneventful. And while the urge to use anything and everything as a blog is sort of familiar to me as a teenager, or barely even that, but it's sort of familiar to me as a human being who uses the internet on a regular basis. Uh, I don't really want to hit that mark in an episode that nobody's going to be watching because it's grinding. 
I mean... Obviously, I had to for Athlon, because Athlon needed to be there for the Mauville Gym. I mean, I could have at least waited for the rare candy. Yeah, that was sort of silly. I had to get, like, right close to it and then stop for a principal whatever. Subly, the terror of Duford Cave. Let's see if this Pokemon can hit me and justify my having used a soda pop on Phantasm. Nope, the answer is nope. Subly doesn't dare to hit the mighty Phantasm. I actually might not even have the water guns to stay here for that much longer. I bet I won't have to worry about being abnatural or a unnatural is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, oh, I've got 14 and 16, so that's 30 Pokemon. 30 times 100 is 3,000 is a lot. Fine, point taken. This is also gleefully boring, but at the same time, technically, it's, it's the best use of the infinite time that Pokemon gives you, so what point is there in bothering to not grind, I suppose you could say. <laughs> wow, your attack really is pretty low. I wouldn't have dared bring Phantasm in here without that heal, but maybe I ought to have. I mean, but at the same time, if I don't grind them up and then they all go ahead and die, then not only will I be left with just Mikale, but I'll feel really terrible because I condemned all my Pokemon to death over some principle. <sighs> Better to have them strong than otherwise, I suppose, but... Anyways, what else is up in the Pokemon world that I can talk about? Yeah, these little guys. I trained one a long time ago in my first playthrough of Sapphire when I was stuck on exactly this gym. And I didn't really understand type advantages and disadvantages, so I sort of just trained him to level to uh, level 32, and I think he evolves into Laron. And I gave him Iron Tail. And you know, Watson is an electric type gym. Electric resists steel, but... I just used Iron Tail over and over and killed every Pokemon in that gym in one in one or two or three hits. And it was pretty great, because it just sort of flew in the face of everything that is type advantages. See, I don't even care enough to switch out now. I'm just going to go straight and plow on ahead with some more wing attacks. Let's go, let's go. Or not, or not. See there, that justifies my having given a soda pop. Otherwise, I would have had to switch to Mikale there, and Mikale would have taken one whole point of damage, and that would have been horrible. Now I snap out of my one-turn confusion. I always thought that Pokemon who use Supersonic should get, I don't know, some sort of less less confusion, less confused by it than Pokemon that can't use Supersonic. It doesn't really make sense to me that Phantasm that understands the Supersonic frequencies and can in fact wield them himself should be just as confused by those produced by Zubat than other Pokemon are by his own. I mean... He may not understand the Zubat's exact frequency, but he should at least understand what the deal is, or... Yeah, maybe I'm just completely confusing myself. I, I mean, I, I can understand why a bat would be confused by something like Supersonic, because they hear with sound... They see with sound! They hear with sound, because that is something that no animals besides bats do. Okay, running low on water guns and running low on wing attacks. When I'm out of water guns, I have nothing left to handle arms, so I'll have to leave or something. <sighs> I hope that threshold kicks in soon before I start to feel really bad about myself. Just wandering back and forth in this cave, doing nothing of interest, saying nothing of interest, battling wild Pokemon and grinding for the sake of whichever people for some reason deem it worth their time to watch some random Pokemon trainer who they don't even really know grind his random Pokemon in some random variant in some random iteration of Duford Cave using a Wingull that's named Phantasm for some reason and a Swalot named Afflin. I can say Swalot now. Wow. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Swalot? 
I've never understood it. I used to think ludi ludi ludicolo was pronounced ludicolo, which I'm told is wrong, but I mean, ludicolo has some unfortunate implications in and of itself, but ludicolo just sounds sort of weird. Yeah, I'm distinctly running low on power points now. Actually, I may have been overreacting to the threat of Phantasm, destroying everything over and over again and growing to level infinity before the third gym. Growing to the point where Shockwave will only put a dent will only put a dent in him. Because water flying, quad weakness, that's not that big of a deal, right? Anyways, it was totally a waste of a soda pop to waste that soda pop. So, maybe that will balance out, like, an intelligent use, an intelligent use of a Max Aether balanced out by an utterly stupid use of a Soda Pop. Actually, the using a Soda Pop there for Afflin was pretty stupid, too, but I feel like it had to be done. Hey there! <laughs> Are you gonna get taken down to one hit point and then teleport? You'd better not, because I'm going to be angry. Okay, that's good. That's good. Supposedly I get EVs from that, but I'm not going to explain what those are. I always thought Aaron had the or Aaron had some of the best eyes in Pokemon. I mean, look at those blue eyes. Oh, isn't it so adorable? It evolves into things that are a lot that are a lot less adorable, as you can imagine. It's great. You can tell how awesome a Pokemon's evolution is by how adorable or how unassuming the uh, regular Pokemon looks. Like, based on the size of the uh, first stage on the screen, you can tell how big the last stage will generally be, and how imposing. Like, Zubat looks pretty big, and pretty sizable, and pretty sort of obnoxious, but its final evolution is not that scary, it just looks kind of like Zubat. But as for Aaron, Aaron just looks tiny and just completely packed with potential, and as you will later see, this potential will be realized in very, um... Iron slash rockish ways, or steel slash rock. There's no such type as iron. What kind of Pokemon game am I playing where there's an iron type? There might be an iron badge, I think. I'm really almost out of wing attacks now. I should really stop doing this. But I'm not going to. Okay, anyways... Let's continue on. It's actually kind of, in my opinion, something of a good idea to go and catch whichever Pokemon I can find on route past Mauville City and uh, use that to help me battle the Wind Straits because. I feel my current crop of Pokemon does not require the training, and it would be ra rather a waste of their valuable experience points. And I mean, yes, my three Pokemon team is a fantastic three Pokemon team, but it still consists of three Pokemon, and eventually I'll probably run into some situation wherein I need coverage moves. How many water guns do I have left? Oh, that's right, eight. I think. In the neighborhood of eight. Duh, oh, it's a little Aaron. I'm sorry that I have to genocide Aaron because I really think it's a very well designed evolutionary line, but. <sighs> That's life. Or something. Or something like that. Say hello to Water Gun, your new best friend. So yeah, while I guess you may say that I probably shouldn't use my heal now without trying to get Mikalay down to a more respectable number of hit points, to you I respond, I don't care. I'm tired of grinding. And I really think there's got to be some way to prevent this from being the occurrence being the rule. Like, I like the idea of you can't return to any area you've already been to. I, I hear that's a somewhat standard rule in some situations and in some groups that do the Nuzlocke. 
understand why anyone would partake in group Nuzlocke. It's masochistic enough to do a one-person Nuzlocke, but... I mean, not if your Nuzlocke is like this and you don't really lose very many Pokémon, because you train your Pokémon so hard that you can't possibly lose any of them because they're too close to you. But yeah... I mean, if I did that, then I wouldn't be able to keep returning to Duford Cave to burn all my excess wing attack and water gun power points and get a couple of levels out of it each time. I would have to do my training in each individual area as I go. You know, maybe I should consider actually doing that with the remainder of my game, because, I mean, we've seen how this portion plays out. Yeah, but at the same time, that would make the barrier for entry into the team for new Pokémon even more ridiculously high, because... Then they would have to train on Pokemon of their own or greater strength. Beginning at half health. Which is just a recipe for disaster. Okay, one more water gun. Best to try and get out of here now. So they don't have to bring in Mikale. Alright, maybe this time I can use uh, the few seconds that I've got left to think of an outro that's not stupid. Okay. Next time on Pokemon Sapphire, we're going to be doing this uh, thing called the thing with the... Uh, yeah. That's... just not an outro. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, we go back to Mr. Briny now, we go to Slateport, we hear the music for possibly the last time in the game, so listen well. Wait a minute, I was dumb. Do you know where my do you know where my next heal is? The heal that I need to use now? Yeah, it's in Duford. Auto withdraw precept just for the sake of withdrawing precept. Actually. Actually, no, I'd call that a poor decision. Because how many Pokemon are there that I could get? I don't want one on 111, and I do want one for Meteor Falls. I'm going to go ahead and say Deposit Lily. And that'll make my final three Pokemon team. And if I ever need Cut again, I'll go withdraw her for the sake of Cut. Oh god, I just recognized that PC. Last time I deposited a Zigzagoon in that PC. Okay, so I've used my Duford heal. Fantastic. Um... Team looking good. Now for the real last time. <sighs> I don't really think there's another reason to ever go back to Duford. I thought that if I didn't buy items, then the items that I found on the ground would not be game-breaking. But even with using only the items that I found on the ground, the only place where I'm running into any real difficulty is with Pokeballs, and I still have eight of them. I have eight of them? I thought I was much shorter than that. I mean, sure, none of them are particularly great. Haha, -ha, no pun intended. 
Actually, pun completely intended, but... Haha, -ha, pun terrible. But... Oh, yeah, see, I can... I'm much better at a bike coming up when there's no guy to measure your record. Actually... I need Lily for Rock Smash. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna get Lily back out. <sighs> Although I, I can always use the Fall Arbor PC if I need to. Nothing against that. You know what? Maybe I can withdraw her after this fiasco is over. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put her back in. I can withdraw her after this if I need to use her for HMs. Just the three Pokemon, the three main team members going in. I don't want to think about what happened the last time I went to a gym. I hope I'm adequately overprepared for the cheerfully electrifying man. Phantasm needs to be out of the front position because Phantasm likes to die to electric types. In fact, Phantasm should probably be in last position because of how much Phantasm likes to die to electric types. Any items that can help me in this battle? Any at all? Soft Sand? No. Miracle Seed? No. Black Glasses? No. Looks like none. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and save and having failed to, thought of a to think up a decent outro in the meantime, I guess that I'm going in. All right.